Hey guys, welcome to Solo React Talk. Today I am reacting to If the Emperor Had a Text to Speech Device, Episode 11, uh, Intervention, made by Bruva Alphabusa. Yeah. Um, in Episode 10, um, the Inquisition, Lord Inquisitor um, Kara Mazov um, has been. Sorry guys, um, I have a little gas in my throat here. Um, has been insisting that you know the orders that he received from the emperor are fake and he is i think he's planning to uh commit a coup against the government maybe i don't know like he doesn't trust anyone in the high lords of in the high lords of terror doesn't trust any of them um especially the ecclesiarchy you know he wants to shut them down essentially and you know keep power as as the inquisitor and you know even after being told by the custodians that you know this orders come directly from the emperor the the lord inquisitor is still insisting saying that this is fake this is uh, the working of chaos demons and stuff like that and he just will not be reasoned with he is bent on taking over government i think yeah well, let's just see what's happened now in episode 11 with Intervention. Let's go. 3, 2, 1, go. Maybe they'll go to the old folks' home planet and find some new High Lords. <laughs> Don't say the name of them playing it out loud. Such horrid <laughs> Yeah, I've been wondering, are the High Lords of Terror replaceable? Can you just replace them with anyone else? Or are these people like indispensable just like, you know, anyone that is close to the Emperor? You know, like the Custodians, they're indispensable. You can't just throw them away. So I'm just wondering about the High Lords of Terror. Are they very important? Like, do they know some key information that, you know, that needs to be maintained in their circle of uh, government? You know, uh, how important are they? Besides their title as being High Lords of Terror. Mm. <laughs> we are not saying the name of that horrid planet! I'd smack you on the buttocks with my power mode! And send you to a penal world if I had forgotten how to walk just a moment ago. Give me a second. I'll be up, and then it'll come back to me, and then I'm gonna kick your ass! And place my penal with a floppy disk. Oh! Okay. That would explain a lot. Silence! You crippin' summer told me to. Oh, Fyodor, that's what I was gonna say! You be quiet, too. The future of the Imperium is at stake here. I will not let you destroy it! Told you, I'm saving the Imperium, not destroying it. Now quiet down. Take off that stupid taco shell of a hat and lead me to the. Don't you talk shit about my hat! I would never take it off! Why doesn't he just head to the palace himself personally? Why does he have to be directed by someone? Just go there yourself. Haven't you been there before? Uh, Lord Inquisitor, I, I mean, don't you guys have direct access to the Emperor as you only um, uh, uh, respond to him? Like, you only answer to the Emperor, so what are you doing here? Go go to the palace. Go see for yourself what's going on. I would never leave you to the palace either, for that matter. Then you shall all die! I wouldn't do that for you. Hey, Fyodor, look, it's that giant walking banana that tells me to burn houses down and kill things. What? You love the Atempus Custodians. Explain your intrusion immediately. Indeed I am, and I have come here to deliver a message upon you. What you're doing is interfering with the Emperor's will, and it's also really damn stupid. Like, seriously, how long can you get? I like bananas, especially on a good old ice cream sundae. 
Or, uh, or was it Sunday or, or Sunday? I, I don't and know. And look, oh, well, well, for me, it's in the Bronx and Celtics. Perhaps that's the sad issue of what my gods, but the bananas, they're those useless damn lace boys. They will even grow up big and strong like me. Or with a banana. And let's do it. Banana poop is excellent for lubricating cogwheels. Banana poop. Shut up. Now, custodians. Hey, these old lords. Oh, gosh. What gives you the right to come in here to the sanatorium Imperialis? Quite simple, Inquisitor. I, too, am a high lord. I am Captain General of the Adventist Custodians. Oh shit! What a twist! Oh, promotion! Congratulations! <laughs> Congratulations! I'm sexually confused, Fyodor! Kill them all! Kill them all! Quick! Left shoulder man! Shoot them while they're still sexy! Uh, left shoulder man? Left shoulder man? Oh, oh, there's a needle in his arm. He's on his Quiet, Dominique! I give the orders here. Custodes, tell me why you are out here in the first place. You're all supposed to stay within the Imperial Palace. Is that not right? Ordinarily, yes. But this is no ordinary case. <laughs> Well, that doesn't matter. I'm still going into that palace. I'm still bringing the big guns. Really? Will you be able to shoot all of us? What in the Eldar sparkly shit are you talking about? Oh, that's what you're talking about. Hey, Fyodor, we're surrounded again. And this time, by loads of half-naked men, it's like a ruddy ocean of bare nipples and bulging muscles. It's making me moist. Just... Quiet. I like the music. <laughs> Dominique. I've come to make the announcement for you and everyone else here in this room. Through the amazing technology of the, like, second millennium or something, our Emperor is once more able to speak to us. Our glorious Lord can command us once again. And that is exactly what he slowly but surely has begun doing. Pigs, is this, is this true? The Emperor can talk again. Oh boy, now I can finally retire. I need up all those social securities checks like the worthless piece of shit that I am. Just like I always dreamed of. Isn't that what you're all ready to win? Yeah, but now we can feel like worthless pieces of shit. It's the whole package! I'm sure he'll be so thankful for the good job we've been doing while he's been gone on that long bathroom. Nice! I'm sure he's an expert on laxatives. I can't, I can't wait, I can't wait to talk to him. And that's the power of technology, kids. But, Captain General, why have you not told anyone of this before? It seems like the kind of important thing to tell us, High Lords. You know? Well, the Emperor never told us to actually tell anyone, and we wouldn't ever do anything the Emperor hasn't told us to do. Except the press map and be famous. <laughs> but, yeah, the Emperor told us to go forth and have this message be delivered, and that's what we have done. Now, Inquisitor, step off that throne and- No! You vile scum! You lie! You are all corrupted! Take up. It's time to die. It's time to die. I think this man needs to retire permanently. Not to exceed in your minds. You are all heretics! I'm done! Alright, yeah, I'm done being nice today. Give this crazy bastard the Empress Peter. Three, two, one! Stop! Stop! Okay, stop, don't you? Never mind. Leave him. Why? Why, Emperor? Why? This man was about to throw the, um, the Imperium into chaos. Because he did not believe that you were uh, alive and you are awake and you are talking. Why? Let him run. What? Well, this is certainly a peculiar turn of events. I'm so confused. Well, while we watched it, I put this show off with a 
war and the blood and the soot and the blood. I hope it's Fox News. That's my favorite show nowadays since they canceled Jack. Vox News, I like that. <laughs> you will regret this, Custodes. You will regret the day you turn your back on humanity. You may show me mercy, but do not think I shall reply in kind. I will have my vengeance, you filthy heretics! If you don't, we should run! Be quiet, Dominique! But yes, we totally should. Why didn't you execute him? We had him surrounded, but you let him slip through our fingers. Why? I don't understand! As Hansa may seem to believe, it wasn't I who made this choice. It was the Emperor. The... The Emperor? His voice came to me, telling me that we should let him go. I do not yet know why, but I will not question it. For I know the Emperor intends it to be this way. Well... I am in no place to go against you then, Custodes. Nevertheless, perhaps we should consider warning the rest of Terra about this inquisitorial threat. He and his companions are most likely fleeing to the Inquisition's base on Terra's South Pole. We should arm our defenses and be ready to take them down if they try anything. Indeed, we should probably do so. Wait, hold on. Yeah, look, I so he's speaking. What? Why? Okay, okay, sorry, my lord. This ever happened. Yeah, something like that. Huh. Um. Yeah, now this is awkward. What what is there left to do now? We must just start looking at each other. That's it. <sighs> Emperor, why? Why did you do this? You too. Keep up your sacred work in keeping the Emperor safe with care. And you keep up suppressing the truth for the masses. Well, that's what I do best. Until next time. They think to spread chaos and ruin throughout the Imperium of Man, do they? The cowards! The fools! This is the worst incursion of corruption I have ever seen. Oh, that's what the doctor said when he looked at my lungs. I mean, every time I think about it, it just makes me want another sandpaper cigarette. I bet you could use one too after that shit show, huh, Fyodor? Do they forget that I am the purest, mightiest, the most ruthless witch hunter of the galaxy? I am the one and only who gave the middle finger to the corrupted Ecclesia in the first time they tried to spread chaos throughout the Imperium. And I will do it again. Dominique, prepare your parchment. Finally, I get to do my job. Oh, my pencil broke. Tell the rest of the Inquisition that Holy Terra itself has been overtaken by heretics. The Ecclesiarchy, the High Lords of Terra, even the Adeptus Custodes themselves have been corrupted by the ruinous powers. Tell them that we need as many inquisitorial troops here as possible. Tell them we need those forces here yesterday. Tell them. Tell them to bring everything. Ah, uh, Fyodor, what do you mean everything? Oh, and what do you want in Honda? Everything! Emperor forbid, we may even have to take the final measure. What do you mean, final measure? Ay, this guy. Emperor, what are you doing? What? Why? Why allow this man to continue with this nonsense? Why? Why? Well, 
this is boring. I sure wish I had fucking Lex. I wouldn't ever have figured that talking to someone would leave you so bored when you can't do it. Especially when it's the only thing you can do thanks to your stupid son who put you on golden clandestine life support for the rest of forever. Psychology fucking sucks. I totally wish my fragmented soul and psyche could return to me in a functional body so I could fuck around with illusionary appearance shifting again. Doing that was the funniest shit ever, albeit screwed things up badly from time to time. But really, all I was doing was saving mankind in my own subtle ways. Like that one time I made myself look like a pale, non-special person, and challenged my son Vulcan to a game of catch the biggest fire break, and then saved him from falling down a volcano, which was kind of ironic. Or that other time when I made myself look like a malnourished, parasitered and sheep herder, saved a shitload of people intending to bring them to a nice piece of land I found, opened up a rift in the sea that we could walk through because I could and be arsed to build a boat, and then wandered an 11 day distance for 40 years through the desert. Actually, that was pretty fucking embarrassing. Well, at least there was that other time when I stopped World War 18 by poisoning the leader of the nationalistic ostrich forces. I am still not sure how mankind missed all those clear signs that the ostriches were behind all the ultra-conservative extremist shit that had been going on for so long. What? <laughs> Emperor, what? Or when I spent 50-something years as an overweight, mentally unstable man-child creating grotesque cross-breeding products out of already existing fictional characters owned by different companies in the hope of having mankind realize that their ways are faulty so they would pick up the torch and head for the future rather than sitting idly by and engaging in pettiness, superstition, gluttony, and hatred for one another. That plan was genius, too bad people were too fucking stupid to find the enlightening messages hidden in all those hollow recordings I made. Sigh. It was only a matter of time before I had to reveal myself, but sometimes I wonder if I shouldn't have gone and done it earlier. Then again, I- Yes, maybe. Maybe a bit earlier, like during the times of uh, the golden age of technology. Probably during then, you should have revealed yourself to us, but yeah. Don't think it matters. As to quote a certain indecisive demon, but things are going just as planned. Okay guys, that was If the Emperor Had a Text-to-Speech Device, Episode 11, Intervention, by Bruva Alphabusa. Um, yeah, the, what would you call it again? The Ostrich... Yeah, the Ostrich Organization, I forgot what you called it, but yeah, <laughs> that was crazy. Um, the Emperor intervening in some, you know, <coughs> into some stories involving either his children or humanity as a whole. Um, yeah, he should have done more. He should have done more. Maybe even before uh, the advent of the Imperium of Man. Maybe way back then in the um, dark age of technology. Probably then he should have intervened. But yeah, what's done is done. Um, you can't change the past. You can only uh, change probably the present and the future. So yeah. Uh, the Emperor also intervening in the custodians you know when they were just about to attack uh the high lord uh the, not the high lord but the lord inquisitor uh karamazov you know he was about to die i was ready you know all the custodians were ready to fight and then the emperor says no don't do it why why and now uh, karamazov is scheming and planning uh, an attack against the custodians probably you know and anyone else who disobeyed his uh, demands you know so i just wonder why did he decide to spare him but anyways i guess we'll have to just wait and see what happens in later episodes and see where that takes us but uh, i'm just so disappointed i was ready for a fight <laughs> You know, I want to see that chair that the Lord Inquisitor is on. I want to see it's all of its abilities, you know. And I want to see 
uh, the scribe person, you know, next to the Lord Inquisitor to also, I want to see if he can fight and how, how long will he last against the custodians. Um, but it was just not meant to be. The Emperor said no. Uh, okay, guys, I guess that's it. If you liked the video, remember to give me a like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Click on the notification bell if you need to be up to date with my latest videos. And I will see you next week Thursday. Okay?